All right, so today we're going to be looking at uh, how to chop up sample slash loop a sample if you guys are interested. And it's going to be done using Fruity Loops and Slicex. Now, first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is open up the Fruity Loops. Um, on top of that, you need to have a sample. When you have a sample, click here, Channels, go to Add One, find Slicex, which should be there, and click on it. If you don't have it, go to More go to here click refresh fast scan recommended and if it's not in that list it's going to do a fast scan here and it's going to pop up read it out and then you can just select it and it'll be back in that channel list forever like up here but um so once you load up slice x you need to load your sample right now the sample that i have is some old like croatian serbian shit i don't even know but we'll play it real <laughs> basically playing that fucking chop that I have selected okay so basically what you do is you click here go to load sample find your sample wherever it may be libraries music for example uh, nope let's go to that iTunes real quick so yeah this is that album I just ripped I use this track number one I'm not gonna load it up again but basically you select that it's gonna load up here as a wave file all this stuff you're seeing is chops now in order to get these chops you go to this little thing over here and right click from here you could select dull medium sharp small grid medium grid large whatever like for this one I believe yeah that's it I selected medium auto slicing doesn't really matter it's what you want to do now it's going to create something like that obviously you can't really take out any chops from this so we're going to have to zoom in the way you zoom in see where my cursor is here if you go to the end it's going to turn into like a double cursor there click and drag leftwards and it's going to zoom in usually you're able to zoom in by pressing page up or page down but it's not working in my case right now so we'll deal with this now that chop that we were hearing before from the song was right here as you can see it's selected there so if i play it and click this before i play it it's going to loop it right so you're just going to keep playing so that's what we got overall the song is so that's the sample now i don't really want to loop it i just want some chops right so what i did is i zoomed in found what like i thought would be good for making the melody slash beat select that from the beginning of the marker to the end i always click loop just to hear it like go back and if it clicks in the beginning or not and then yeah, that sounds all right but that's not the sound that i want now for the sake of this video we're not going to chop anything up but that's how you do it okay so you would highlight this for example i already got my stuff chopped up but i'll show you guys and then if you're using FPC, which I'm using, you go to channels. And FPC is just a plug-in for like your uh, MPD if you have one of those, right? So you click on this bad boy here. And I'd like to go to presets and empty. That means that here there's nothing. It's empty, obviously. And I can just throw sounds in there. Now, if I go back to my slice X god damn this is small workspace okay whatever for the sake <laughs> so if i go back to my slice x i have that shop say i want to use that for example i'm going to put in this pad what i'm going to do is click this thing that says drag copy sample it's at the end click on it drag it you see that it goes there now if i go to my mpd and hit it I've got that chop. It's a little laggy because I'm not using my audio card right now, just laptop speakers because this recording program freezes if I don't do that. But, um, so yeah, that's a third. Now to play that, I have another one here that I've put my chops into. So if I click, hear that sound? So I got like seven chops, right? And out of those seven chops, I made this little pattern here. So 
so yeah, that's basically how you chop up samples, man. You just load up SliceX, find the sample you want to use, load it up into your SliceX, which should be here. And then uh, you go back to this bad boy again, where it says chopping, right click, select what you want, medium, sharp, small, large, whatever, like we can change it. You see how it changes it there? If I click this to large, it's not really doing too much, but it does change it. There you go. So um, that's how I chop them up. Now, if you just want to loop something, I'm just going to open up this other file. So if you just want to loop something using SliceX, same process, go to channels, find SliceX in the list, click on it, load it up. I've already got it loaded up, so I'm not going to do that step. And it should be where the fuck is my first sample. Yeah, I believe it's this. So in this one, I wanted just like a loop. So I didn't chop anything up. Originally, I loaded the sample, obviously, that I wanted to use. And I went to my chop and block just to make it easier. And went on large grid. Oh, no, medium auto slicing. Sorry. And I went back here, zoomed in. And I found the part that I thought would make a decent loop, right? So if we play that, it's going to be this. That just for the chorus. Okay, so fuck all that noise. Let's go to the playlist. Okay, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. So this is different than chops. I didn't even use an MPC for this. What I did is once I got like what I want here, Instead of dragging it into the MPC like I did before, I'm going to click this thing and just drag it into here, right? So as you can see, that's not even like a proper four pattern, eight pattern, whatever the hell you want to call it, loop. I usually like it eight beats per, uh, not eight beats, it's like an eight pattern loop or a 16 pattern, which should end more or less here. Now, in order to do that, I can stretch it out. It's still not fitting there, as you can see. So what you want to do is go into here, click on the track where it's holding that, and go to, uh, my bad, go back here. Bring that back or it's not going to work proper. And then go to this time thing. This will stretch it out. So if I play it, now, let me turn these off. Click song and play. something like that so click on like 160 can also go up above like 160 right you can do whatever if you want super fast go to like 220 yeah so that's how i loop crap man but what i've got looped i'll show you real quick here is this so when I'm pretty much how I loop my fucking samples so I mean hope that helps you guys out if you have any other questions leave a comment I'll try to help you out I know this video wasn't that clear I messed up a couple of times here and there but I mean hope it helps you guys get on the road of chopping samples and looping samples so you can make some beats meantime if you have any other questions drop a comment or uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you check out the music all right peace